few weeks have not been easy, out with a concussion, but you couldn't ask for a better comeback than what you had tonight. I mean, the coach has put together a game, a great game plan. Our defense got huge stops in the red zone in the, in the 10 yard line. We were up 17 0, we let them come back, and you know, we faced adversity before and we pulled it together as a team. This is the team W. I was on the wrong side for your kickoff return, but it didn't look like many people touched you on that one. I mean, kickoff, kickoff return has been a little rough all game. I mean, they've been, coming, they've been screaming down. We knew this would be a tough team coming in undefeated. We knew it wouldn't be easy. And, you know, I saw the hole. I did do a little step on. Got out of Great team, W. Obviously, you're one of the leaders on that defense. You, you basically stop a team on their home turf team that's scoring almost 50 points a game. What was the game plan? And obviously you guys executed it, but what was it? So pretty much the game plan was is don't let the receivers get behind us and just keep them all in front of us. So that's what we did. We tried to keep them in front of us, limits on the big plays, and you know just hold them to, hold them to turnovers and stuff like that. It's, it's a big confidence boost. I mean, this is exactly what you want going to conference. Now we just got to stick it out for five more games and try to win this conference. See, your line play on both sides of the ball was tremendous. Let's just talk about that first, and then we'll talk about your defense. Well, um, you know, we talk about it all the time. You know, you win up front, and we put a lot of time, particularly after the last couple of weeks, we've been having a little trouble um, moving the ball uh, and, and controlling the line of scrimmage. Um, and, you know, we've we wilted in the second half in some games. Um, so we really focus on putting four quarters together, like both an offense and a defense. And, uh, we put ourselves in a little bit of a bind there with the turnovers um, because I think up to that point we had controlled the tempo of the game and uh, we kind of let them back in a little bit. I was a little frustrated by the, the um, score at the end of the half um, and we kind of gave them a short field. So uh, there's a lot to work on, um, but I'm really happy for those guys because they were. They took a lot of criticism and over under a lot of duress and I really hand it to our offensive coaches um, for kind of getting them back up right and, uh, you know, um, and so they were able to play the way they did tonight. You're a defensive guy. You have to be really proud of that defense tonight. Basically on their home turf, you're stopping a team that's scoring almost 50 points a game. They got some guys. I mean, uh, they're well coached, obviously, um, and they're explosive. The quarterback is excellent, accurate, athletic, and they got receivers all over the place. So uh, we started a sophomore safety, and uh, you know he did a great job tonight, um, as well as our underneath guys. Our starting corner, Tristan Stitt, was out with a concussion, so we also started another guy, uh, another player um, that never started before. So we had two players playing against them with uh, never really gone in the game. And I think the true measure of a defense is, is how you tackle um, and, and, and whether or not you're competing against some of their throws. We knew that they were going to be able to complete some, um, but it was the balls that we wanted to take away, the, deep, the deeper throws, and make them, you know, work the ball down the field. And, and uh, you know, they, <clears throat> you know, the turnovers kind of put us in a, in a bind with some short fields, but uh, we responded in the red zone, and I was really happy to see that, and I think that made the difference in the game. Um, we're just focused on getting better, you know, and trust in our process because um, the season is long and you have to continue to get better as the season progresses. And we, we took a step back for Chicken Ridge. Uh, you know, we kind of licked our wounds a little bit, got back up right during our bye week. I thought we played well versus Cardinal Gibbons last week. Um, and then obviously I think we took another step forward. We still have a lot to work on, but I was really proud because we had our best week of practice this week. Morale's been high and we're getting some of our, our best players back. So certainly we want to take that momentum and I hope on Monday um, we have a good practice because weight room, uh, film study, uh, the practice field, that's where you win games. And um, you know, I was really proud of the kids. They worked hard, they watched a ton of film um, and you could tell that they really wanted to play well for them.